First, cut the box from the top, careful not to cut too deep. Remove the promotion sheets, the warranty, the owner's manual, the cardboard from the top of the ActiVac 3 filter. You can then remove the second cardboard, followed by the unit by lifting the bag in which it is packed. Undo the latches to separate the canister from the main unit's body and spread the pieces on the floor or on a table. Check if there are no missing pieces. Make sure to have a utility knife, a level, a measuring tape, a square screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and an hexagonal screwdriver. Please take the time to carefully read the safety instructions inside the owner's manual. Determine the most appropriate location to install your unit, ideally in the garage or basement. Then measure the minimum space requirement around your unit in order to do maintenance and to empty the canister. Cut the plastic tie located on the back of the unit's head where it holds the wall support with the unit support. Determine the height of the wall support and screw in the center hole only. With a level, make sure that the support is perfectly straight and screw the other screws. Hang the unit onto the wall support. Connect the first elbow on the air inlet with a pipe clamp. Never use glue for this part. The other piping parts must be attached together with glue. It is very important to always apply the glue on the outer perimeter of the piping, never on the inside of the elbows or the Ys. If needed, you can also use a Y to add an additional line, allowing you to add a vacuum inlet beside the unit. Install a mounting plate to the end of the piping and then a vacuum inlet. Please note that there is a short and long screw. In this case, the short screw must be positioned on the top to avoid puncturing the elbow behind the plate. Your unit could include a muffler, which can be installed at the unit's air outlet to evacuate the still air outside the building. Otherwise, you can use the ActiVac 3 filter by installing it with a piping clamp. Check if the circuit breaker in your electrical panel that is connected to your electrical socket has the proper amperage for your model. Then, connect the 24 volt wires from your piping network to the terminal on the left hand side of the unit. Plug the electrical cord to your electrical socket. Use this socket solely for your vacuum. Check if the electrical cord is compatible. You must never cut the cord or use an adapter. When you notice a significant suction loss, it is a sign that your bag must be replaced. With the unit powered off, undo the canister and remove the bag from the unit by throwing it away. Take the opportunity to clean the filter. While it is being washed, you can then use another and alternate. You must never use a filter if it is not completely dry. If your unit has an ActiVac 3 filter, the filter must be replaced every year. Every five years, bring your unit to your retailer or directly to DrainVac in order to check the motor's carbon brushes and protect your motor from premature wear.